smoking right next to me. Oh, but it's not the smoker section. Does anyone let them know that smoke moves around in a whole And room? one day, that used to be okay, right, yes, Cheryl? In other right. words, it used to be okay for me to smoke next to you, but nowadays, they don't even want you smoking where you downdraft, that's updraft. Right, that's right. They don't, if you can smell that's it, right. if people that's smell right. a cigarette, they get pissed off. That's what are you right. smoking? Right. And now they're bold, too, because we didn't, we've educated them, that's right. so people now will walk up to you. Are you smoking? Do you want to sacrifice my life? <laughs> <laughs> your habit. For your habit. So people, I got my small baby right here. So I'm saying these things do work, Shelly. We can put money work. into educational campaigns, Absolutely. and we can get people thinking about health, exercise. But if you don't eating, have, okay, right? now this is a bill to help. In health care, oh, why okay. don't they have a mandatory bill that will help you <laughs> in staying healthy? Meaning that they've provided programs such as maybe you going to a chiropractor, maybe you being able to go to an exercise therapist, maybe providing uh, money. Your health care could help you provide money for you can go to the gym for free. It was subsidized that they can pay a doctor, they can pay a membership fee to the gym and requiring you to put so many hours in to have a trainer. Mandate. I mean, this is things that we can mandate, mandate. for a better lifestyle to be healthier. It's a but bad no, word. It's mandate. a mandate bad word. It's mandate a bad is word. a bad word. I mean, I think mandate. Mandate is a That's bad a word to conservatives and the liberals, right, Shirley? It is. We don't want to be mandated too much of anything, no, right? It's a form of slavery. <laughs> Didn't we say that on Hip Hop Republican dot TV and dot com? If you go to Hip Hop Republican dot, yeah, we don't TV, want no mandate. Don't give us no mandate. We don't want a Take damn thing mandated. Off. That's a mandate. No, I'm, I'm against that too. The problem I do raise, even as your radical leftist, Shirley, is that we have a large group of people who I don't know how we deal with them, they're going to choose bad lifestyle things, and you're going to be kind of stuck as the taxpayer because the society's already moved to the point that says that when people show up, damn, they're dead, on the hospital door, you don't say to them, oh, you smoker, get the hell out of here. You should have thought about this. Right. And you was, oh, you too, as fat as you are, you, no wonder you got a heart attack. Right. Get off, get out of my emergency right. room. So, so you've already had that set up. Right. So now the people know that they can smoke, drink, act a fool, pay for no health care. And, sh- and here's the ones that's really, the people who are really broke can just wait outside of the most fancy hospital to get admitted there. And then threaten to sue them if anything goes wrong. That's right. And this is what occurs today. And this is what occurs today. This is what goes page today. two, excuse me, page four two nine line thirteen twenty five. The government will specify which doctor writes an ends of life order. So your right to end of life order. Your right to end of life order. Your doctor can say instead of your family, instead of that something that was stated in your will that you wanted to live on life support, instead of you having control. Mandate, the word mandate is another form of slavery. That's right, white America. You're now a slave. Well, one of the things, the government. That's, that's a little different. Well, let me put it like this. Oh, yes, it is. Everybody, when they enter now, and this is another one of those movements that came about because, again, people neglecting their responsibilities. Because doctors were so poor at explaining to patients how to deal with end-of-life issues, then you have laws passed that mandate that a third-party person now meets with you when you go in the hospital to discuss these issues and, and the issues how they control. We know one thing, the medical establishment dropped the ball on this, okay? But the issue is, too, who decides and helps you make those... The government the, now. The, well, we don't really want the government. And they, well, If this bill passed, Mario, that's what they're saying. The government's going to decide if you live or die. Let me read another one to you. Page uh, three, excuse me, 430, line 1115. The government will decide uh, what level of treatment you will have at the end of your life. What level of treatment? I know you've got a couple of them over there you could read. I mean, think about it, America. Not only will they decide who or when or what time, they'll decide what quality and what treatment. Now, they, Shirley, they might now just you pull know the plug these. and walk away. Now, again, I I, I have to be my my moment of dissent. Okay, go ahead. Because this, you know, these these are interpretations. Okay, that are prepared by a conservative group now. So I must admit, I don't know the line by line. Uh, so I can't really respond well to that, okay? Because these are interpretations. I these can, are interpretations that of, are of online right lines. now. You can look the bill up yourself. I'm giving you the page. I'm giving you the line. And, and, give, and they give and them lots of free time. <laughs> and you got a lot of time. time. You got two days left. And right now, you need to get on start the phone reading. and start reading. Start reading, you start reading and calling. You got 2,000 pages. I'm going through one. So you got 1,999 to go. 
See now, and now that the, let's play this. The, this is the part I'm with Shirley. The Democrats today want it passed by Sunday as your ra- radical leftist, as your fiscally conservative liberal that I am. I don't want it passed now, Rush, because it isn't anything that I want anyway. So you might as well take your damn time and let's have some real debate. This, but you know what, Shirley? It seems that you and I are closer to some kind of consensus. I know that's because then, you're converting. Then why are we not? Because no, you're, you're converting. converting. <laughs> Why? Why? Why is it that the radi- Why is it the hip hop Republicans and the radical leftists seem to be able to agree on certain things like health care, taking care of our military? You know, don't, why is it that we seem to be able, as much as they try to portray us out there as, be, as America being so divided, with that people like Shirley and I so vastly different? You know, and the chat in the chat room. I know you're upset about this, and if you're not, it's because you're not understanding the the repercussions of how this bill will affect you and how you need to read it for yourself. Yes, Mario has a point. They are prepared by conservatives, but you know conservatives are people with common sense. Oh, and that Lord. is why me and Mario agree today because both of us have I common sense. Now, right. if you think about it, I went to my nail shop and I talked to my nail lady. I said, Linda, you know, I could think of my king of point that might have a bill. I asked her about the haircut bill and she not understand. So I talked to her in her language. I said, Linda, haircut bill are not good. Ain't that good for you? Ain't that good for you? I'm now, staying granted, out of this one. That's about as much Chinese, right. Japanese, I'm going <laughs> But we just lost the Asian that. community. <laughs> what? <laughs> we just lost the Asian community. I don't know, God. I don't talk about that. And you know, you know, when they start talking about black people in the nail shop, I know I'm drifting. So, you know, because you can get gone green, and that's probably not going to be covered. Black people in the done. nail shop. Yeah, black people in the nail that's shop. That's a special, ex- unique experience. Because you're there, they go, Negro! And then they keep going into their language. You go, excuse me, Miss Sassy. Sassy rain her in. Did she call me a nigga? I know that Asian lady didn't call me a nigga. I think uh, my name is Yinya. Your name is what? Yinya. Linda. Yinya. Do you know about the health care? No, I just live here in America. I like it here. Well, see, they like it here. Yeah, they like it here, but we're liable for them. Well, they also, they they seem to be loyal to the Republican Party, many of them. No, but they're loyal to the Democrat Party, too. <laughs> Are them- <laughs> we love you, Asian family. We really do. We love you. Mm, you better love them after that. Yeah, I'm gonna love them after that because they do my nails really well, and I, I do like my my, my so, nail lady. <laughs> so we agree that, that okay. So that's going on. And by the way, the president, I didn't see the Shirley, but I guess the president did get kind of undressed on the air yesterday. Oh, he's mad. He I did. didn't see it, but I, I saw a piece of it. But some, I guess they got they got an argument on the air. Wow. So he kind of wow. lost. They say, did he, did, he, did he lose it? You know, it's very hard to rattle the president. Oh, bro. They very say that. Good. I mean, he, he, he's, he's very, I think he's very good. I think it's very good. Mario, I'm going to tell you what it's about. It's about Chicago Mafia. Max, it, okay. Chicago Mafia, baby. You playing with the Godfather. Da, 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 da. You know, we're going to get this bill through. Joey, stuff it down. You better watch out. You go that down. Max already warned you. Said you, 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 you got, you got the Asians already. Yep. Don't go after the Italians. I know Johnny. Because you I know, know you, the, the, the feed, the, the internet connection we could put the boy disconnect. Up there. We front money. We front money to get him through the election. <laughs> yeah. So he's gonna get this bill through, dog. And then we are gonna get paid. Uncle Louis, he's a doctor. He's first on the list to make sure he gets a check. <laughs> You're crazy. Mafia, Chicago Mafia. That's his move. This is what this president is doing. He is going through every loops and the terms. He's coming up with amendments and addendums, like you said, this particular uh, addendum that could come into place to buy ba- bypass if this does not get voted in. If it doesn't get voted in, he'll put this amendment in place, and he's going to get it passed. He's going to get it passed. He well. is going to get it passed. So unless you start getting on the phone and getting mad... We got to kill a bill. Let me, let me make a prediction. American public is going to scream for something to be done. That's what's going to end up happening. Okay, and you, then what you, is that I, something? What see, are they the, going to be the, something? But remember how the American public are. You know, they are. They, they don't know. <laughs> they're going to say, please help me. Give me my health care. But see, they're going to force you into having opinion. Try to stay neutral on this. I dare you. Try to stay neutral on this. Those of you who think you aren't affected, oh. wait till your bill comes. You're going to be uh, watching Hip Hop Republican. Okay. Because you are affected. You just think you aren't affected. Just like those of you who think you have good health care till you really get sick and go in there. So let's just see. I predict that you're going to have people shift.